For the past two years, my rhododendron put on a massive show. It was absolutely beautiful. Prior to that, it was sort of meh. <laughs> Wasn't doing very well at all. And I learned that it's very important to deadhead your rhododendrons if you want more growth and more flowers. Now, it doesn't matter if you don't, but it just may be a little slower growing. But it's quite easy that as soon as the flowers, we just had a rain, the flowers are pretty much spent. They're falling off. The earlier the better to deadhead your rhodi. This is a good time too if you see any dead branches or you just want to shape it up to shape it up, which is right after it just finished blooming. In order to deadhead it, it's, it's quite simple once you get the hang of it. If you look really close to where the flower came up, you'll see some new growth buds right here. And there's a little orange band where the flower head was. And you want to take that and carefully, without damaging any of the new growth, just sort of twist it and it pops off. Now you have your spent bloom that you can throw in the compost. There's one here I can show you that's a little bit better. You can see quite a large new growth right here. You want to be very careful not to crack off that new growth. So you want to pinch it where you see that orange band at the base of the flower and just sort of gently pinch and twist. Now I didn't get the entire flower with this one. And that happens quite often. So I'm going to get down a little further. Sometimes I'll just get my fingernail in there. You want to pinch it right at that band and get the whole thing off. So now you have clean section here that'll heal over and you have your new growth coming out. So let's just do another one. Normally you'll see a few pieces of new growth like this one here. See that orange joint in there? I'm going to get right down as close as we can and there we go, it just came right off. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up deadheading my roadie so it can put on a show for next year.